Okay. We're live. Are we live? Yes, we are live. All right. Uh, as you can tell, Doug came in. He wasted no time coming into the uh, garage. thinking notifications might not be working too good here because I just ended a stream. We know how YouTube hates multiple streams. So, so we got a, a full view here. I'm thinking YouTube is not notifying anybody this time. Oh, friends, that's almost threw this in the garbage. That's the brand new meds. I got a bigger bottle this time. I got six. Yep. I don't think YouTube is letting anybody know that I'm live right now. Well, we got a lot of quiet people this week. She's spit out of a bunch. I got a little bit left over there. Not much. Oh, I know, Mr. 
great guy, and I'm giving your girls, whoa, look at this, he's trying to get out of me, through the cage. I don't believe this. I think, oh, there is someone showing up. Oh, Michael, how you doing, Michael? New bottle of meds. This is this is it. No more meds after this. But they, they are fixed after this. It's uh, this is like I can't do much more. Because it's been like this will be the whole winter, but these these meds are done. Well, not the whole winter, but pretty close to the whole winter, folks. So, did everybody enjoy my uh, point of view uh, panic cleaning during the storm? Uh, I, I'm curious on how it turned out. I'm thinking my aerial problem is the problem. I need an aerial on my head. I got to find some remote aerials. They got to make them. Somebody's got to have a remote aerial. Like, Norm's not sure if he's seen or not. Were we asleep, Norm? You would know if you saw it. Trust me. Especially being in Hawaii, and it's a, uh, um, uh, it's a snowstorm here, and it's nasty. I gotta get, I think the aerial's the problem. I've seen there are aerials where you can buy kits to make stuff, like to put aerials inside of things, but I, I need one that's like a, like four feet long cable. Yeah, I hear you, Doug. Are you trying to fly out of your pen there? I need four foot cable. And then I can run it right up the, uh, the, um, um, the HDMI cable that goes to my head. But I think that's the problem, is the aerial's on my back. And that's causing a, a, a situation. All right, what am I doing here now? Um, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta put some straw in the... Uh...
Okay. You gotta move. You gotta move. You gotta move, dog. Okay. All right. You got me uh, for a very brief period of time. A little chat? Chat. If not, I gotta go. I got work to do. Hello, Mandy. Hello, doesn't. James, um, I, I, I wish I knew the name of the aerial, the connection. I don't know the, the name. There's a special name. It's just a normal Wi-Fi antenna, but there's a technical word for it, and I don't know the technical word, So, uh, which is going to be i got to sit down and do some Google, uh, because I know somebody out there has to make a remote antenna. They got I, I can't be the only person in the world that has the uh, the the need for a remote antenna. You know what I mean? Like, I look for it. You know, there's got to be somebody out there that makes a remote antenna. The idea, like, oh, I think the actual cables are six feet. Six feet would be better because it match the other cables, and I can wind them all together. Because right now I've got a UBS. Uh, a USB and an HDMI cable going out the back of my head. So if I could strap a wind in an aerial in there and then have uh, um, a, what you call it, uh, an aerial up here, um, it would be, um, uh, I think the problem would be solved. I think that's the problem. I think because, see, the thing is, is it's right here in my back, right? Eh? That's where it sits. And you know, when I'm bending over and turning around and bending over and turn like that, I think that's what the problem is. is that's when the cutoff happens. And the fact that I had a brain fart today about the, uh, the, uh, um, the, uh, the high decibel, uh, or, or the amplification decibel aerials. I had a brain fart about that. That the higher the, uh, the dB, the more packet loss. So, that's the deal. But I'm curious on how well it turned out. I'm not getting a lot of feedback here. I don't know how many people were watching it either. But you, I don't know if you could hear the, the, the wind. It was so cold. The weatherman is lying today really bad. Like if you go to my weather right now on my, uh, for, for uh, Penawawa or Ottawa and you look at what's happening, nothing what it's supposed to be. You know, not even remote. It's supposed to be minus seven right now. And nice. Just a few audio drops. Yeah, see, I, I think that's the, uh, uh, the aerial problem, James. So. So, I, uh, back to, I, I was talking to this during the point of view stream. I'll repeat myself. Uh, I spend the morning because, like, I know how to use automation on uh, Photoshop, and I thought for sure I could set up some automation to help me uh, open and close files and save and all that kind of stuff so that I wouldn't have to keep doing the same things over and over and over. And uh, I wasted, <laughs> oh, man, like two and a half hours to discover. No, you can't do that. Um, because when the, the, the automation part of uh, Photoshop is once it gets into the automation, every time you hit the return key, which means you're going to another function, uh, or even closing something and going to another function, it will automatically jump to the next action in the automation. So that didn't work out. So I did some test runs and set up some file folders to try some tests, and it didn't. It was, it was like two and a half hours, and then I went, oh, I guess I gotta do it manually. So I've been doing it manually. Uh, uh, going through and making it's pretty cool pretty cool you're going to be impressed folks some really neat things uh, um, it's gonna look good it is because you know when you do it when you match the artwork to their templates and and work within their template and sort of like you know it takes a little longer to move everything around it and set it up nice I think it's gonna look really you're gonna be I think happy so there's gonna be a lot of choice I can tell you that much it's like Oh man, like lots and lots of choice. 
But now that I'm getting uh, the next 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 bunch of artwork will be faster. It's just this one's the first one, eh? So it's the learning curve, learning curve plus setting everything up, plus discovering all the glitches and all that kind of stuff. It's uh, I'm pumped. I'm really excited about it. I think you'll I think you'll be liking it. So, Norm, there's a link right below this stream, Norm. You you can't read, Norm. It's right below the like right below the stream. There's a link. Where is Norm been? Norm's been gone. He doesn't know what's going on. We neither I don't I don't know that much about technology either. I, I stumble. I stumble. <laughs> uh, I just I just, just hack my way through it. Norm has a cold. For the last month, three weeks you've had a cold, Norm. Three weeks you've been gone. Thanks. Appreciate that. Can't believe it. You've been gone three weeks. Anyways, enough giving Norm a hard time. He's whining about having a cold in Hawaii. Meanwhile, it's 25 below outside. Oh, uh, I don't have a cold, and it's 25 below outside. I'm living the hard life, though. I'm craving some junk food right now, which I shouldn't. I, I, but since the car is frozen, I ain't starting it, so I ain't going nowhere. So that's the only thing saving me. And when I was in town yesterday, I almost went to the beer store. Almost. Very close. Very close. And I'm so glad I didn't. Do I have any chocolate? That's a silly question, Chris. Chocolate is my house. Almost, Patty. Almost went there. It was so close. I drove by the place. I looked at it and I went, oh, Matt, some beers. But you know what? Right now, if I had beers, I'd go in the house and drink them. And I wouldn't do any work. Because when it's snowstorms like this, nothing like a snowstorm sitting on the couch, drinking beer, watching a movie. That's like almost like a rain, sitting in watching TV in the rain, you know? That's what it's like, snowstorms. And it's a snowstorm right now. It's a blizzard, actually. And it's supposed to be nice. The weatherman's lying. I like the word they came up with the forecast today. It's not even remotely close to what it's supposed to be. Like, not even remotely close. Like, I was waiting, I was working away. And I was like, okay, I gotta wait. I gotta wait a little longer, wait a little longer. And I kept working, kept working on my computer. And I said, okay, this weather's not getting nicer. And I, I looked at it, kept checking. And it was like, no, it's staying cold. So finally I said, okay, I went outside. Norm, I just did a 44 minute stream outside with a camera in my head in the snow. Go to it if you want to see snow. Norm's trying to trigger me here. I just did 44 minutes in the snow outside. And you missed it. So go watch the video version of it. Barking orders. Go outside. I'm not going to open that door. Some demandings people here. Nobody's got any questions? Okay. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go and do work. Keep focused here. Keep doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And uh, I think later uh, um, uh, we might be having a warm up, which means the ducks will be coming outside. So I, I don't know what's going to happen. Norm, go back to bed and lay in bed. Hey, hey, Mandy, what's the weather like down in your part of the world right now? I haven't opened a gene. The envelope is still sealed, sitting beside my desk. I'm so far uh, behind. I'm not going to bite off anything new. So, yeah, I know you're in Brampton, Mandy. What's the weather like? Are you having a... It's good, no snow. Oh, so it's not cold and bitter? Norm's off is... Yeah, he is. Norm's off is meds, Jennifer. I'll look at it, Gene. Don't worry. 
It's not going anywhere. It's not like someone's going to break into the house and open the envelope. I'll, I'll look at her. I'll scan her. We'll get her hopping in here. It'll happen. What's for supper? Well, it's going to be some kind of vegetable. And, uh... Some kind of leftover in the uh, the for the freezer. I have to go do that right now, actually. I wish it was sunny at minus five. It's not even remotely close to being sunny at minus five. No, no, no leftover duck. I'm gonna have roasted duck for supper tomorrow, though. I'm gonna take it out tonight. I might even have that tasteless pizza. I froze it. It's in the freezer frozen. I'm thinking I might I might do it because if I do that, if I don't have to cook tonight, I can stay I can keep doing artwork. And I really want to pound through the artwork. But no, it's not mmm pizza, it's suck pizza, Patty. I, I you missed that episode, eh? I tell you how bad I was. I don't marinate my ducks. I don't want to mask the flavor. Do I ever make bone broth out of the roasted duck? No, Doug eats it. Doug gets the carcass. I'm not going to take Doug's food from him. It looks chilly, Norm. It was freaking cold, man. I got an ice headache. The wind was so cold. My head's still, my forehead's still cold. I can still feel it. Like it's still got, I'm still radiating some cold across the front of my forehead. Problem was, I didn't have my heavy hat on. I had my light hat on because I had the head uh, mount camera on and I should have put my heavy hat on instead. But I thought, no, I'm gonna be in the building and it won't be that bad and I wish I would have put the heavy hat on because when I was walking around doing all that stuff outside, getting the bales and the food and the water, I got an ice cream headache. I got a bit of a headache right now actually from the cold. And my light hat, the flaps lift on the sides and the wind goes up inside, my ears were getting cold. It wasn't not like my heavy hat where it hugs my head. So I chose the wrong outerwear to do the live stream with the camera on my head today. So, but I did not know that it was that cold outside. So. I'm getting cooking tips. I don't make broth or soup right now because I'm a little bit busy. I'm making broth. I, I, there's never meat left over in this household. We eat the meat. Or the broth or the stock, whatever you're calling it, folks. I just mix it together and do her up when I do make soup, which I'm, I'm due to make soup soon. I'm due to actually make some spaghetti sauce. No, quiche is upstairs for later. What's next on my schedule, Mandy? I'm gonna say goodbye, I'm gonna go inside, and I'm going to uh, go back to doing artwork. Because I'm pumped. I'm doing some cool artwork. Got some baby bibs, did the baby bibs. They're pretty cool. Got the short bus ducks, and then the bid, the bid comes up here on the sides, and then there's little bib, little short bus ducks on each of the bibs. It's pretty neat stuff. I'm, I'm trying to make it as cute as possible instead of just plopping the logo on and leaving it at that, you know? So. Yeah, the scarves are going to happen there, but I'm at the, I'm at the B's. No, I'm not in the S's yet, Jennifer. B, it's alphabetical. My files are all named by name, so I'm going alphabetical. I just did, no, I'm in the stadium blankets. No, I'm in blankets now, because I did the stadium blankets. I'm past the bibs. I'm into stadium blankets now, but in blanket stadiums. So I'm on to C now. I'm on to letter C now. There's a lot of stuff, folks. You're going to be blown away. You're going to go, my God, there's a lot to choose from. No. You know what? I didn't see any swim shorts on their site when I was doing it. I haven't run across that. Boxer shorts. No swim shorts net next. Mugs. They're coming, Mandy, but mugs are uh, quite a few letters away yet. I'm, uh, I did sports bottles. I did those. The artwork for those. 
So, there'll be stuff with Doug on it. Yeah, it's coming. Doug Heads. They have songs. Thongs. Boxer shorts. Briefs. Boys. They call them boys, girls, briefs. I don't know about that, but... But I guess little boys can wear girl briefs. I don't know. Roughly, Patty, there's about 450 products for each piece of heart artwork. So, I think it's 450 products for each piece of artwork. So every time I do an artwork, there will be roughly 450 pieces. There's pajamas with feet. Mindy, just hang on. There's pajamas, full body pajamas with feet. Oh. Yeah, I know, Patty, it's a lot. I'm doing the, uh, I'm doing the artwork. It's a lot. Yeah, Jack, they're duck feet. They have chicken feet, horse feet, horse hooves, pig hooves. Oh. They have lots of stuff. It's quite amazing the stuff they have. And like I said, folks, I'm doing the artwork right so that it looks good and none of this hacker stuff. So it's going to be done properly. So when you get it, you're going to go, yes, this looks good. This is duck adventure caliber stuff. So just like everything I do. Either I do it right or I don't do it. That's why it's taking so long. Seriously, that's why it's taking so long. Well, no, I don't know if I'll have the nicest artwork, but I'm definitely going to have the nicest store. I'm going to tell you that much. I'm, uh, I'm going, and it's going to be one of the biggest stores for YouTubers, anyways. I don't know about the rest of their site, but I know as far as YouTubers, there's going to be no YouTuber out there like this one. This is this is the this is the solution to the to the problem of uh, YouTube uh, flagging me which they flagged oh, this morning. I couldn't believe it. You know the night live streams and the morning uh, 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 egg recon and, you know, all of that? So I, this morning, I had three of the night streams from last night, the egg recon. As soon as I monetized them, instantly, like as soon as I hit monetize, click save, I got flagged. And because they're under 1,000 views, they, uh, they're going to take a, over a week before they get reviewed, if they ever get reviewed. Actually, I got a, a, a notification there on an email last night that a video from two weeks ago finally got reviewed. Unbelievable. It's just unbelievable what YouTube is doing. So, it's their, the website's flagging it, Amelia. It's automatic, it's just automatic. It's just automatic. It's just every YouTuber is getting this done to them, folks. It's not just me. It's everybody. Everybody's doing And the thing is, is that they're flagging it because they want to be advertiser-friendly. Mindy, every channel. This is happening to everybody. It's not just me. I'm not being singled out. Trust me. The ducks, the ducks are not being singled out. If this is happening... And, you know, the thing is, it's like, imagine all the YouTubers that haven't figured out that they need to come up with other ways to make money and they're just dying a slow death and they're going to give up and go get a job and become the Walmart greeter or something, you know, or, or street sweeper or, you know, whatever. Uh, because uh, it's like, they're, 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 it's, it's like, I don't know what the master plan is. I would sure love to know what the, like, what is their master plan? You know? But it'll be, years before another website comes along to even compete against them. Because YouTube, folks, the amount of money that's invested, like they have, um, they have servers all over the world, you know, for their video uh, streaming. And it's like whoever is going to go up against them is going to have to have servers all over the world to, uh, to compete. And I, it's going to take a lot of money. And considering YouTube, uh, you know, as far as Google keeps saying, YouTube makes no money. So who in his right mind is going to open up a video sh platform, a video sharing platform that makes no money? Like, I don't know what the plan is. 
I don't know what they, I gotta figure out a solution. Ah, oh, bitch. You, you know, Mindy, I did that, that VidMe. I wasted so much time with that VidMe thing, and I posted so much, and I worked on it, and get in the amount of time I put in uploading, and then they deleted the site. It's like, it's like, it ain't gonna happen. The only way would be like if a company like, like, like Apple, you know, said we're gonna have our own site. Somebody big like that, they, they, but then you'd be just getting in, you know, jumping out of the frying pan into the uh, uh, into the pan, in, out of the frying pan into the fire, uh, because the Apple would be just as bad as Google. But that's the only way that anything's ever gonna happen. Anybody that comes along the, you know, it's, and, and if they do get big enough, they're going to. Uh, um, if they do get big enough, what's going to happen is that Google will buy them out. Is what will happen. And you know, they're, everybody's whores when it comes to money. So like if, somebody, if, if, Google, if Google came along and you know, said, look, we'll give you this much money to go away, and the person sitting there looking at it, well, I can make this much money, and I can go, I'll take the money and leave. You know? Because it's all about control. So we're just going to stream for free, like I do, with no commercials, and uh, and focus on and on merchandise and fundraisers and, and let the fans decide. Like like I, I watch a, a channel, and I have a problem with it. You know, like always saying, you know, there's the donate link below and all that kind of stuff. I have a problem doing that. I I don't know what it is. I just I don't know. I have a problem with it. You know, but like I watch uh, quite a few big channels. One big one. Stephen Molyneux, and I, I love his channel, but man, at the end of every video, he talks about, you know, making donations, pledges, all that kind of stuff, and it's like, I just have a hard time, like, he does it so smooth, and I'm thinking, you know, like, and I don't think, I don't, I don't, when I watch the videos, and he does that at the end, telling everybody, you know, like, your pledges, your donations, and all that really help the, his freedom radio, and I'm like, and his show is just him standing there in front of a camera. And, uh, you know, he doesn't have ducks overhead and, you know, like I have real hardcore overhead here where he's standing in a room with a camera and, you know, and, and uh, you know, talking. And, you know, a lot of people have no problem with that, you know, standing in front of a camera and asking for money. I got a problem with that. My pride gets in my way. It, uh, it just does. Maybe that's something I have to get over, right? Anyways, but I have no problem being a salesman and, and, and pleading for you to buy my merchandise. That I can do. <laughs> so, what does he talk about? He's a thinking man channel, Patty. Very serious. He's a very serious thinking man channel. It's, uh, you can't be drunk watching it. You gotta, it's, it's thinking stuff. So. Talks about things that Normal media won't. Anyways, I gotta go work. Go get my merchandise uh, hopping in here. Do the artwork so that I can uh, I can plead with you to buy it because I can do that. So I'm gonna say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed my uh, 43 minutes out in the snow with the camera on my head. I'm very curious on how it turned out. I think uh, I think my problem is my aerial. So. Because if we didn't have a lot of drop-offs today, it's I changed my aerial, so which might be the problem. So I'm gonna say goodbye. I love you all. Talk to you later.